Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name's Bea. Nice to meet you. If you're an old subscriber, I'm back. I know I've been gone from YouTube for a long time and I sincerely missed it. So I'm so happy to be back and start creating content again here on my channel. So for today's video, just to ease my way back into making videos again, I decided to do a book haul. So these are all the books that I got from January, February, and March of this year from the Big Bad Wolf book fair to national bookstore the warehouse sale as well as from other places let's start off with books that i got from a facebook book buy and sell group this is foolish hearts by emma mills i got this for 350 pesos and i was also able to pick up wild beauty by anna marie mclemore from the same seller and also for 350 pesos and then from Jessie, our professional bookie on Instagram, please give her a follow because she's awesome. I was able to join her pre-order for The Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. And this is the Barnes & Nobles edition, which makes me really happy. So Jessie, thank you so much for letting me join in and get a copy of Kingdom of Ash. You're awesome. And I can't wait to have coffee with you again. Uh, now for the books from Book Depository. The first book that I got is a companion novel to Uprooted by Naomi Novik, which is Spinning Silver. This is also in the UK hardcover edition and I am in love with this cover. I also picked up Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. This is the second book in the City of Brass series and I absolutely love the City of Brass when I read it last year. It is a adult high fantasy series but it reads more like a YA fantasy, so if you want to get into high fantasy, I think the series is a good place to start. And the last book that I got from Book Depository is what I'm actually currently reading at the moment, which is Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is a standalone high fantasy, that's why it is so massive. This takes place in a world where there's dragons, there is strong female protagonist characters, and there's I think even a female-female romance in here. So I cannot wait to finish this book. I am currently around 156 pages in and I'm loving it so far. Now for books that were sent to me, I was sent two books by the author. I've been working with her since last year. And Elise Kova sent me Earth's End. This is book three in the Air Awakened series. I've read the first three books. I cannot wait to finish the fourth and the fifth book so that I can read her latest novel, which is Vortex of Visions. This also happens in the same universe as the Air Awakened series. Please check out Air Awakens. I will leave Elise Koba's Instagram down below so you can check her out as well. Now for the books that I got from the Big Bad Wolf book sale. I got Withering Heights by Emily Bronte and The Odyssey by Homer. I love these editions. They are small but they're very beautiful and the spines will go really well on my classic shelf. I picked up the Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin as well for 190 pesos. This is the third book in a series. The first book was the fifth season. I read that last year and gave it five stars. I also picked up Swing Time by Sadie Smith also for 190 pesos. I picked up three YA contemporaries. The first one is Midnight at the Electric by Jodie Lynn Anderson. And then I got Frankie by Siobhan Plaza. And lastly, I got Even If the Sky Falls by Mia Garcia. I mean, the cover is just gorgeous. And then I picked up some YA fantasy. The first one is Paper and Fire by Rachel Kane. And then I have Ever the Hunted by Erin Summerell. I also picked up Van Gogh by Timothy Defumable. I probably butchered his last name. I was only supposed to go to the Big Bad Wolf book sale once. I went back again because I wanted to find a copy of The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. I also picked up The Chemist by Stephanie Mayer. And I also picked up Jane Steele by Lindsay Faye. This is like a darker 
Jane Eyre retelling and I love the cover. I was also able to pick up some high fantasy books. The first one is The Court of Broken Knives by Anna Smith Spark. I was also able to pick up some Brandon Sanderson books. If you guys don't know, Brandon Sanderson is my favorite high fantasy author. I was able to pick up The Emperor's Soul, which is a novella. And I was also able to pick up Firefight and Calamity, which is book two and book three in the Reckoner series. I've read Steelheart and really loved it, so I cannot wait to dive into the next two books. And then the second to the last book that I bought it's The Tea Girl of Hummingbird Lane by Lisa C. And the last but not the least is Us Against You by Frederick Backman. This is the second book. The first book is Bear Town. Now I have an excuse to get Bear Town. <laughs> so that's it. Those are all the books that I've purchased in the first three months of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't. Please check out my other social media accounts, my Twitter and my Bookstagram and my Instagram accounts down below and I hope you guys have an amazing day ahead. See you next time. Bye!